Okay, who remembers the first sweaty pickaxe in Fortnite? Remember when everyone used meme pickaxes? Well, here's the history of Fortnite pickaxes. Chapter 1, Season 1. The first pickaxe in Fortnite that players were using was the default pickaxe, since many players didn't buy items until the game became mainstream and they saw more prominent YouTubers using them. But the most notable pickaxes from this season are the Raiders Revenge, Icebreaker, and Reaper. And the players who bought these pickaxes bought them because they wanted to, not knowing that they would become rare, except for the Icebreaker. And since Fortnite was in the earlier stages of the game at this point, there weren't too many items released at the time, with it not being the Battle Pass. Chapter 1, Season 2. We got the Candy Axe, ACDC, and Plunja. This season they released more pickaxes since it was an item shop and not a season shop, and they released their first Battle Pass this season. But the most popular pickaxes this season were the ACDC and Plunja. You might be shocked that that didn't include the Candy Axe, but the Candy Axe didn't get popular until later since players weren't focused on sweaty items at the time. And the reason that Plunja had popularity was that I think it was a pickaxe for Ninja. You get it? Plunja? Ninja? Oh god. And he was the most popular Fortnite streamer at the time, so players felt inclined to buy it. Then ACDC had hype from it being the pickaxe for the Black Knight. You know, the highest level skin in the game. Chapter 1, Season 3. The season of main pickaxes. The season's most used pickaxes were the trusty number 2, Rainbow Smash, and Pick Speed. This was the first season when players started really investing more time and money into Fortnite, since everyone was just getting addicted to the game at the time. And this season they released many meme pickaxes with unusual sound effects that would make you stand out with ease, so that made players want to buy and use pickaxes of that style. The more players purchased this season's battle pass and got to complete it, so that's why many players were using the trusty number 2. They also used pickaxes with John Wick, the god skin of the season. Chapter 1, Season 4. Nothing too special this season, just Omega's pickaxe. A lot of players were still using the pickaxes they bought or unlocked from Chapter 1 Season 3 in this season until they purchased the Battle Pass and reached Tier 45 to unlock Omega's pickaxe. And at the time, players were still into using any new item no matter if it looked good or bad because there weren't as many pro streamers at the time so they didn't have as much inspiration for items to use. Then the top players at the time like Myth and Ninja were using rare pickaxes or pickaxes you get from reaching high levels so players didn't focus on pickaxes at the time, and they all focused on rare skins, mainly the Skull Trooper and Renegade Raider. Chapter 1, Season 5. The Studded Axe and Crowbar. Many players couldn't wait until they unlocked the Crowbar because it was a pickaxe you could have unlocked for free if you completed all the high stakes challenges. So since there were still a bunch of players who hadn't spent money on the game at the time, you knew this was going to be an opportunity that no one wanted to miss out on. Because the challenges weren't even that hard, you just had to play 10 matches, deal 500 damage to opponents, and pick up a jewel in 5 different matches. Then the Studded Axe was released this season, but wouldn't gain popularity until later seasons. Chapter 1, Season 6. The Stellar Axe and Thunder Crash. Since the Rainbow Smash was still one of the pickaxes many players used, Fortnite decided to release another version of it called the Thunder Crash. This is an evil version of it that goes with the Dark Bomber. The price of it was 1500 V-Bucks, and at the time, all of the pickaxes players were into cost 1500 V-Bucks, since they had the most details and features included with them. And it was apparent that the Stellar Axe would be a big pickaxe of that season, since it was the pickaxe for the Galaxy skin, which was the most hyped up skin in Fortnite at the time. And players were doing anything to get the Galaxy set. You had some people going to Best Buy just to play Fortnite on their account so they could get this $900 set. It was that serious. And Fortnite released the legendary Reaper pickaxe back into the item shop this season. By the way, like and subscribe or your Fortnite account will get corrupted, don't risk it! Chapter 1, Season 7. Vision Axe and Marshy Smashers. Now it was at this point where you had more sweaty players, since players were used to the game, and there were way more clans coming out and players blowing up from playing Fortnite, so they started using items that they saw some of their new favorite creators using, such as the Vision Axe. But this pickaxe wasn't as popular in this season because you had players using the Reaper Axe since it returned in Season 6. And everyone made sure they got it since they all saw the OG using it. And let's not forget that the OG Candy Axe came back this season. And Marshy Smashers was a free pickaxe that could have been unlocked from completing a few tasks. Chapter 1, Season 8. The introduction of the main tryhard pickaxes, the Star Wand, Driver, and Bold Bar. But people didn't pay these pickaxes any attention when they were first released because they were still using the Reaper and the Candy Axe since the two most iconic pickaxes recently returned to the item shop. At the time, any OG item was considered a tryhard item, unlike now. Most sweats don't care about rare items as much anymore, but back then, it was serious. 
and players didn't use these pickaxes until a few seasons later, but the driver was the first pickaxe out of all the pickaxes released this season that you'd see tryhards using. Chapter 1, Season 9. The introduction of dual wield pickaxes. Before Season 9, players were just into the traditional style of pickaxes that you'd hold with two hands, until Fortnite introduced a whole new style of harvesting tool to the game. And that made a lot of players lose interest in pickaxes like the Reaper and Candy Axe for a while, since we were all shocked and into the new pickaxes. The first pickaxe of this style that players would use was the Ripe Rippers. This pickaxe could have been unlocked from reaching tier 7, and it's the pickaxe for the Bunker Jonesy. Then you also had more players using the Driver this season, since this was the season the World Cup took place, and people found out about a lot of new players who were highly skilled at the game. Chapter 1 Season X or 10. Fortnite added Save the World pickaxes to Battle Royale. So if you had a pickaxe in Save the World, you could also get the same pickaxe in Battle Royale. It was a pretty cool feature. And this season also made the Star Wand famous, since players saw pros from the World Cup using it. And the Star Wand had to glitch this season, where if you'd hit someone with it, it would do 56 damage. You could literally eliminate a player without a shield from hitting them two times with your axe, or four times if they did have a full shield. That's quicker than standard weapons, so Fortnite disabled this pickaxe until they fixed that problem. And players bought it just for that reason as well. Chapter 2, Season 1. New beginnings, a new Fortnite map, and basically a whole new version of Fortnite. The Minty Axe was released this season, another version of the Candy Axe that could be unlocked from getting a code from a retail store running the promotion. They also released new default skins and a new default pickaxe, which most players were admittedly not too happy with. The most popular pickaxe this season was the Minty, since everyone on YouTube was making videos on it. Then Harley Hitter was also released this season, but wouldn't get popular until later. And they also released the first one-handed pickaxe this season, the Riot Control Baton, with the collaboration with Star Wars. Chapter 2, Season 2. Tryhard pickaxes are an all-time high. Now, players only care about sweaty pickaxes, and on top of that, Fortnite made it worse by releasing the Axe of Champions, a pickaxe that could have been unlocked from winning the FNCS, one of the most challenging tournaments to win in Fortnite. You also had players using the Candy Axe, Star Wand, Driver, and every other tryhard pickaxe out at the time this season. And the Psyblade was released this season, which would help make one-handed pickaxes even more popular. Chapter 2, Season 3. So it seems like Fortnite was starting to like the different new styles of pickaxes because they released the Hulk Smashers and Captain America's Shield as pickaxes this season. These were the most unique pickaxes in the game at the time, and although they received some love from YouTubers, they weren't very popular because most players were still using the tryhard pickaxes, and well, these just weren't too tryhard. And let's also not forget that they released the Gold Crow, another version of the crowbar that could have been unlocked from buying a pack. Chapter 2, Season 4, the Season of Marvel items, and that includes a ton of Marvel pickaxes. Also, the original default pickaxe from Chapter 1 made a return this season, which made players happy. And on top of that, you didn't have to spend a dime to get it. This season was also Fortnite's biggest for collaborations, because they released 12 Marvel pickaxes this season. And they also released another new style of one-handed pickaxes, with pickaxes like the Hand of Lightning and Mark 85 Energy Blade. Chapter 2, Season 5, the legendary season of one-handed pickaxes. Despite the fact that the first one-handed axe got released in Chapter 2 Season 1, they did not blow up until now in Chapter 2 Season 5. They released the Leviathan Axe, Copycat Sword, Combat Knife, Michonne's Katana, Snake Eyes Katana, and Identity Disc this season. This season made players slow down on pickaxes like the Driver, Icebreaker, and a few other tryhard pickaxes they'd use all the time, since more pros were using these new one-handed pickaxes. And the first legendary pickaxe was released this season. You know, Yauch's Wrist Blades? Chapter 2, Season 6. Well, here we are. This season hasn't had anything too special nor new. It just seems like they're starting to re-release more DC items from the looks of it, but you never know what could happen. Consider yourself learned. Now tap one of the videos on your screen. Peace out.